Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's about to remain the trucker. 42,000 miles completed. Only 8,000 more to go. Yo, I can't believe it, man. I'm starting to think since lately about being on my own in my own truck. What will I have inside my truck and stuff like that. I can remember when I was about to start TNT, I was thinking, wow, 50,000 miles. When am I going to get that done? What would it be like? You know, what would the journey be like? And for those of you guys who've been following my journey, you know, I talk a lot about what I experienced out here, you know, and so far it's been good. So far it's been good. But it's kind of a different feeling now, being that I am only 8,000 more to go hopefully they do not add any more miles to it and i just get to do 50 or a little bit over 50 and get upgrade but the feeling now of knowing that i will be done soon in a couple of weeks maybe two to three weeks i'm starting to feel different it's a really different feeling now guys really different feeling i can remember when i made my first 5,000 miles and i'm like damn this is just 10 percent of the old 50,000. And then I remember when I get to 10, when I get to 15, I remember one of the weeks when I didn't get any miles. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna hang in there, keep, you know, stay positive. Don't worry about certain stuff. You know, me and my trainer, sometimes we take a one day break or a two day break, stay in a hotel, you know, recharge yourself, get back on the road. And it's, it's, it's been a journey man it's not completed as yet only have eight thousand more to go hopefully i get some good load and i can knock that out in like two weeks two and a half weeks um the experience out here on the road i have adjusted to the trucker lifestyle you know what i mean they say trucking is a lifestyle guys and a lot of people they come into trucking and when they experience the lifestyle they quit they cannot they cannot handle the lifestyle you know what I mean? So, with my journey, and if you guys go back and watch my videos, you will get some insight of what to expect out here in the trucking world. I've learned a lot of stuff. I've been to a lot of states, been over to the West Coast a whole bunch. You know, being that we spend a lot of time on the West Coast and drive a lot of mountains, me and my trainer. Last night when I was coming through Pennsylvania and going to the Pennsylvania mountains, it was like nothing to me. I was just cruising through the Pennsylvania mountains. And my trainer said to me, these PA mountains are nothing for you because you've been out west so much driving, you know, the Donner Pass, Dead Man Pass, all of those mountain mountains in Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, you know, up in Montana. I've been exposed to some of these mountains over in Idaho. So when I come over here last night to PA, trying to get through PA to go to Massachusetts, the mountains in PA was like a walk in the park. You know what I mean? So I was proud of myself last night, driving through PA, going through the construction zone, hitting that engine brake, some of you call it the Jake brake, you know, getting myself down these mountains with a fully loaded trailer. And I can remember when I just started out in PSD going down that same mountains in PA when the load, you know, the trailer was fully loaded so it pushes me down the hill. No, the trailer was fully loaded yesterday, pushing me down the hill, but because of my training doing TNT, it's it's like second nature to me now with all going down these mountains with a fully loaded trailer. With the wind, I, am, I have adjusted myself driving to the winds. You know what I mean? Yeah, I remember when I just started to and certain times the wind hit the trailer and you know, the truck is like, whoa, but now I'm good driving to the wind. Rainy situation, I'm good driving in the rainy weather and stuff like that. And guys, with the 50,000 miles in TNT, it kind of put me to a lot, even snow. You guys saw one of my video when I was stuck in Montana for 17 hours on the I-90 East. One place, we stuck one place in traffic for 17 hours. Couldn't move. We just have to keep the truck running. My trainer sleep, then I sleep, take turns while we, you know, stuck there in traffic. 
and we didn't move until after 17 hours. I got the experience with the snow driving. So TNT all in all, guys, if you're just coming into TNT or you're about to go in TNT or you haven't been to Prime yet and you're worried about the TNT and the 50,000 miles, I'm going to say it, guys. It is worth it because you will go through so much. Right now, my driving right now, I'm driving good. I can remember when I just started driving out. You know the prime trucks they have sensor if you go close to if you go too close to like the white line on your left or to the right it will make a buzzing sound right now i'm driving pretty normal with even one hand i'm not making the buzzer go off you know once in a while you will hear it you know what i mean because we are the road set up on the lines but my driving has gotten really really good right now this load that we're on the pickup in new york we have a load right now to pick up at a Chabani in New York. We're going to take it to Illinois, a thousand miles. My trainer pretty much told me, hey, you will just do this one all by yourself. This is like a solar run, it's a thousand miles. And he asked me question, how will you schedule this out? Look at your fuel, I look at the fuel. I tell him when I will fuel up and you know how many miles I will drive, what time I will start driving tomorrow to get to the old one, to pick up the load and then drive take a break because it's a thousand miles i would have to do it in two days so i was just breaking it down to him then i checked the weather and see what the weather forecast is like for the two days and you know wherever i messed up or i forget something he will chip it and say don't forget this and i'm like okay but yeah i'm basically can run a whole solar load by myself my driving is good my trainer when he's when his driving time is up it pretty much just go into the sleeper berth and sleep and I take over, you know, because I've had so many training doing this 50,000 miles. I'm telling you, it's worth it. I still have a lot more to learn. My back end, it's coming on. It's coming on very well. I just need more practicing. But like everyone say with the back end situation, you have to get out there on your own Some um, when you get your own truck and you will get more chance to back, more time to back and stuff like that. But I pretty much understand the concept. I put it in certain spots. You know what I mean? It's getting good. It's not perfect as yet, but it is getting good. I won't hit anything. Let's put it at like that. I'd rather take my time. I will get it in there. Might be slower or longer than the usual trucker, but I will get it in there without hitting anyone. But after time goes by, you know, I will get it in there faster. So yeah guys, like I said, I only have 8,000 more miles to go. I haven't made a video in a while. And I was just, you know, chilling, saying I want to make a video when I reach 40,000. But the last load I took, took me over the 40,000 miles. It took me actually to 42,000. So I said, hey, let me let you guys know that 8,000 more to go. I can't wait to complete this. And TNT, TNT has been good so far. TNT has been good. It's not an easy road guys i'm gonna let you guys know it's not an easy road but there's a light at the end of the tunnel and once you make it through this 50,000 miles you will upgrade to your own truck and that's where you can you know get your stuff on a truck for your convenience what you like you know i'm a guy i like music i make music so i'll have my stuff in here set up my studio in here so i can on my downtime, like right now, I could go like make a beat or record a song, write a song. I will have my cooking stuff so I could, you know, cook my food on the truck and stuff like that. You know, it will be your home. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. If you're out there doing TNT right now and the 50,000 miles, some weeks, you're not getting enough miles and you're like, damn. Trust me, one day you will get up there. One day will you will get up there and shout out to everyone who followed me all along the way and say Romain hang in there you will get there that week when I didn't get any miles you guys told me hey don't worry even though I wasn't worried I was still positive you guys know I always try to stay positive you know what I mean so yeah you just have to hang in there I might go in company or lease you guys know already I'm leaning towards the lease situation but for the past couple of weeks I've looking into it more and I'm like 50 50 i'm like company is a safe start for me i would like to go company so right now it's in the balance right now guys don't be surprised 
when I finish TNT, you guys see me in a truck and I'm actually a company driver because you know, the, the thing is, I don't want to say freight's a little bit slow, but you guys know what's going on out there. We see what's going on out there. A lot of drivers are complaining from different companies, you know, different owner operators saying things are slow. And I'm about to finish TNT and to start doing leads in the situation, in the market where things are slow. I don't think it's a smart idea. I think companies go in there, make that sure money per mileage and give the trucking market time to come back up you know maybe six months from now or a year from now we can hop over into the lease that's how i'm thinking right now guys but like i said i have nothing at home no ties at home no you know nowhere to go trucking is the lifestyle i want to get into so lease will be perfect for me but a lot can happen with the lease you know like i said i am aware of what can happen with the lease you know my money management skill is good i can go a lease and it's no problem for me like i said lease might be for me but it might not be for you but i am really sitting down and starting to think you know company might be a smart way to start this off in a market like this so like i said guys when i upgrade you guys will definitely know my decision but don't be surprised when i upgrade you hear me say hey i am a company driver I made them a lease driver, who knows? But, you know, company is looking good so far. I'm not gonna lie. So guys, don't be surprised if you see me in a company truck, you know what I mean? So yeah, all in all, you know, I just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you guys know everything is good with me out here. I'm almost there, 8,000 miles to go. And let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about the lease and the, the, the company. I know we talked about it already. You guys probably say, ah, remain, you're so confused. You don't know what you want to do. Guys, I have time. You know, I'm learning. I'm actually hearing other lease operator talking. I'm hearing company drivers talking. I put two and two together. And I kind of think I've made a decision already, to be honest with you guys. I can't say yet, but when I upgrade, you guys will see my final decision and what I decided to do. But yeah, I'm here chilling. I'm gonna go take a, a nap right now. I have nothing to do until tomorrow to go pick up this load. Chabani, New York, to take it to Illinois. You know, I have time, so I don't know. Maybe I'll go live later on with you guys. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm almost done, guys. 42,000 miles, 8,000 to go. Your boy Romain, the trucker, is out here. Love you guys. I appreciate everything you guys do. Subscribe to the channel, comment, like, all of that good stuff. Shout out to you guys. And look, a lot of people say, yo, why you don't make videos of you recording, driving, backing up and stuff like that. Guys, don't worry. When I upgrade, you will see all of those stuff. Right now, I'm training. I'm in my trainer's truck. I respect my trainer. You know, so he's driving down the highway. I don't want to be recording. I'm at a ship or a receive. I don't have time to set up a camera. I'm just here learning. So don't mind me. Just come up and talk to you guys, you know, like this. All my videos are like this talking. A lot of people like this format because they can just chill, listen to me, drive while they listen to me. They do not have to watch anything. But in the future, you guys will see clippings. You guys will see vlogs. And I have big plans for the channel. I have big plans for the channel. As soon as I upgrade and get my equipment, you guys will see. But thanks for watching this video, guys. I didn't want to make this video too long. It's already 14 minutes. But your boy Romain is out here, still hanging in there. And, you know, everything is good. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.